الرجيم بسم الله الرحمن الرحيم الحمد لله والصلاة والسلام على من لا نبي بعده وبعد السلام عليكم ورحمة الله وبركاته All praise is due to Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala May his peace and blessings be showered upon Our beloved Prophet Muhammad sallallahu alayhi wa sallam The one who fought tooth and nail for Islam to get to every corner of the world We request Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala to bestow unto him his full blessings and mercy and whoever is to follow his footsteps till the day of judgment. Allahumma ameen. Uh, matter of fact, uh, I'm humbled to be among this noble cause. And as we are trying to share with my Sheikh Yusuf, made it a point that one of the cardinal goals as to why these sessions are commencing today is to make sure Quran is put close to the people of the Quran. So I want us to agree that we might be many Muslims, but not every Muslim understands the Quran. And when I, when I use the word understand, I want to basically mean the true sense of understanding what Allah wanted us to take. So if you're a student of Quran, you very well know that it's on record that the book we follow, our noble book, has interpreters, has translators, and this is a field of knowledge that you can't exhaust in a year, not even two years, not even, it, it might take some good time for you to exhaust. So I really think this is really going to be a nice program. And my prayer is may Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala grant us courage. May Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala see us through. May Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala uh, make our goals out of this program achievable. Allahumma ameen. And secondly, it's because if we are more than ahead today here, different professions, netukungana with one goal of trying to understand the holy book Quran. Allah is teaching to Chitono. Kumanza njagalo baka kasa eh Nti Fieldi ya feyo kusome din Ebadecha ina challenge zinyinji Oktuza More than a profession Ngate feba vubuka Just imagine what will happen 10 years from now Maybe someone will see an engineer Somewhere Thinking you are ignorant about the Quran Little did they know You are a student of the Quran and you've dedicated, invested time into understanding the words of Allah. So it, re it clearly makes a channel for us. Today people think that if you want something to do with the Quran, you really have to be a sheikh. Then zero. You can't say anything about the Quran. But the principle is, Arabic is just a language that gives you access to the theology side but don't judge yourself don't be limited by the language not to understand what Allah wanted and I believe it's one of the reasons as to why these sessions are being put in place without wasting any more time I'm, I'm having now 20 minutes I wanted to use these 20 minutes to discuss some of the benefits of this book we are having. And I made it a point to summarize whatever I'm going to discuss in three benefits. Benefit number one. The book we are reciting, we are trained from the epistemological view. Because we believe that we are Quran. That's on default. 
yeah, if you've not yet gotten it from the Quran, then probably you're limited by something, but you really have to check it out. Kati edini ya fe tuteendeka. Tuteke duo kuba ne discipline. To understand this book, the more you understand it, the more good you're going to get out of it. And one of the benefits I really want to use is, Quran can be used as a source of healing and cure to everyone that subscribes to it. Okay. rajim. Allah in the Holy Quran, I'm sorry because it's, it's a Quran session, I'm going to use more verses. Allah in the Holy Quran, Surah Al-Isra, أعوذ بالله من الشيطان الرجيم الله يا جام باي وننزل من القرآن ما هو شفاء انتي توسع مقولان ينو جيتو سوما and whatever is into it part of it is شفاء healing let me put it close to you Bogende wa Dr. Raki Bakati. Ngomutwe gukuluma. There is a very big difference between medicine and cure. Or medication and cure. Medication is a process. Healing and getting cured from whatever is wrong with you is the end result of it. So we all agree that when you're healing from something, that is a positive move. Or wonye, it's a smile there. You might not have the same smile in the process of you healing. So when you visit the Arabic vocabulary, Allah used the word shifa'un, literally trying to imply that when you internalize in the Quran, chogend of funam, if you're a student of Quran, if you're a Muslim, a believer, at the end result of it, you're going to definitely heal from whatever you're struggling from. Wawangu Omusawa asobolo kuwa kankoyese sinuses kuba ye tabu yange. Wobango ina sinuses baso kuwa ku citrizin. Citrizin na nawa atuka na atakolera. Nenga bloodde webu that is medication now. Ne bakulinyisa ku dano ogenda ku dexa. Ogenderera now. Oyane otuka dexa na gana ne bakuwa ko ne ku bidala that is medication. Obulwaddo inabumu but there are several tablets you might take to make sure you get to the healing. Katalo kwe sechi gambo shifa un what I wanted was te yagara tui samu story nu wakutagala. Because the end result is, the fact is, no one that is having a problem, a disease, mental illness, physical illness, okuja konga, when you internalize with the Quran, definitely you're going to get cured. And there are very many stories from Prophet Muhammad sallallahu alayhi wa sallam. Let me just cite some. The one, the primary protection you need is the divine protection. And there is no way you're going to, to get the divine protection. The divine protection is the protection you're going to move with. And every Muslim needs that. This is why when you visit Abu Huraira's narration from, from Prophet Muhammad sallallahu alayhi wa sallam, you will get to know that when Prophet says that when someone recites Ayatul Kursi in the night before sleeping, Allah bestows onto them protection for them, for their family, and for their neighborhood. So basically this is Quran. We are going to get cured from our challenges, mental challenges, uh, physical challenges, blah, blah, when we use the Quran. And that's the number one benefit. The one question is, are we Muslims, believers, that believe that Quran can really do that for us? Because remember, one of the conditions to, for you to get to that benefit is, you really have to... to, to you have to be sure that magic is going to be done. 
kubanga ndoza Allah abata nakugeze saburunji even when things turn south ebisere bisinga ebirozo byonna bidukira muddogo kuletere chokula bilako katugamento ina osoma no mizinga mulogo nemufuna mu butakanya nakugamba noti udhaifa onvumye kale nako ma obo furu mabwoti no wona bodo kukuba obo tuke waka ne bakubba obo vayo bwoti muto wonafa obo wakaita aita mu bwoti ne bakugoba ku mulimu ye ngande se bizibu binji ebyo byokabi kumala wallahi nkakas batono nnyo abatasola kulooza anti bamulozi nange nno mwendi botaloza ne jemu <laughs> nange mwendi era ebizozo byonna 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 bizirukira kuoli tirwachi wo mulogo yangambi enti nja kulaba ndoza chenu cheba dakola chi wallahi ne wabanga sibi aliko ne nja galo kukakasa nti of course quran is not meant for perfect people don't even get distracted we took what akubuzi ndalo ne tutandiko kweguza ku luwarabu katwa malayo if we were perfect then quran has no use the role of the quran is to live and we make mistakes but when you recite the quran you get back on track osera no koma osera no kola ji no koma the message out of this first benefit is we have to trust the quran it can really do wonders yes bobango mutego kuluma sikugamye tugena muddwa lilo banku limbya na yetandikira ho kubisoke bawo first aid waliyo divinely we kwa tego kumutwe soma atul suratul fatiha mirundu musamvu nabino yagakuwa ago bo tambulo genda muchi muddwaliro in a sense kubwo mutayinzo okunyamba ilo nagama atkaate bichi byo tugamba tuona ati ntambula ngenda muddwaliro you don't know nto kuona kwa njawulo kati being in a third world country okuona kwa fe kwa kulaba ko igowa olale ekisujja cho ne bakutaka ku kidripu no toyana mwao kati mbo terede naye buli bulwaddo obukwata ki bayito omuntu i have limited time tebukuleka ki ekim and the approach of islam is if you're tested by the sickness if you invite if you invite quran into you healing so definitely the healing will be from inside bine byoku ngulubige ndo kwega tako ngambutufu ofunye chebaiti chebaise shifaa okuono okutufu okoyese zaachi okoyese za Quran and this is what prophet Muhammad sallallahu alaihi wasallam used to tra train the companions i believe if we are students of the Quran then we really have to put that in the know ekitabo chetu dilinga nacho chino it's not in other books it's a book with value and it will always keep that position Allah proceeds and he's like wa rahma This book is also a source of mercy to us wa ma yazidu lil zalimina lil zalimina illa khasara Why is this this Quran mercy I will only choose one 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 point It's a source of guidance for a muslim in all aspects of life so many of us really think that when you're talking quran you're only going to discuss ibadat or maybe hajj or maybe it's part of the quran buri guidance je wetaga omuntu okuvira dalanga akula you will find it in the quran let me put one example Ochimanyi tikulani ya fenwe it's the only noble book that respected the psychology the human behavior and the human mind need respecting ambutufu bwayo and when allah was trying to position us human beings we chatu kwa mukubanga atwera girako kuba he has a right to do that atwera girako mukutumanya You know what Allah said in Surah At-Ta'a fa innahu ya'lamu sirra wa ma akhfa 
what i wanted here the key words are asir wa ma akhfa asir is a secret sir is in arabic but within english it's a secret it basically means che chintu cho bumanyi na yenga chama ngo chisirikide so you have access to it gambia chama change you have the ability to remember it that's the right word to use kali chisigala chibera cha mango you know busobozo obuchijukira so a lot to kakasanta atumanyi he's like i know that chiba kutesiza ange chama wama akhfa i take an extra mile of also knowing something that you don't remember but in the long run affects your behavior tikati bosu la wana sawa zino kwata kazinda lono ngolinga abuze chibuzo no mpemula just bombo mira mwao what a lie saying is omuntu we miyaka asatu awe mudde aina we yajjo kuwe muloko so one of the psychologists we valid about to say it aina we yajjo kukati botani ko ku digging into the train say mabega kuri dewa wa wa wanga alide atandika atyo kuwe mula you will it will make sense for a 30 year old watu kiddo kubanga abamu echivumu so Allah is like that's why when you get to a level of judging people sibanga muko ku break maybe someone is acting in a behavior ngaleta kinyina akobo sobozi ngaka sabulu fenna wana we are victims if we are not if we are not nurtured in the same environment we are victims of that oinaka zeko ngafa bakolaga nawe fa balugwamu kata si of oboli awone chintu chota jukira so if if you you're nurturing a kid Ochimanyi bulunyi into the guidance is akana kanofa yonyo kakulidewa temuyomba ne mama wako nga kakulira bojira these are all factors to make sure probably akana kanoka kula ngakai na environment eli health kaleme ku affecting wama akhfa so allah to many nyo through the quran nti akutegera ekintu ekinzo kuleta behavior yo kuchuka nenga nawe to many evawa and when you go to therapy a therapist mukola just sirugamba au na atula wanu na na kuuliza kata kuyamba ko byambi nti gweno rugezigezi olujja wanu gweno okwepa ko kujja wanu gweno ekireke ngeri jola ba mwe bintu ojira ba mbuwoti na yenga atoyi najira ba mbuwoti as simple as that kata si of the quran how i wish every muslim understood that approach ola biradalanga buli omage abage na kopa kufe i believe Many of us okumanya kwa fiku kulani kutono nyo me inclusive nengo obolya if we invest time into learning more of the Quran we are going to be rich in knowledge we are going to be rich in disciplines we are going to be rich in all kinds of disciplines and knowledge of course may Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala grant us that that blessing Allahumma amin Now the second benefit Quran is a source of tranquility. Yeah, it's a source of tranquility when you just listen to the Quran uh when a beautiful recitation is going on uh, sound engineers know what I mean. Nti hawa yili mweno yatoka wala banna ero muntu atayagala kunonya kumanyanze musasira. It's only a year back I got to understand anything to do with sound bale tabaka kensa abasoma sound those are the, the people that will sit behind a sound track ne bamanya anti omuntu ono abanga oyagalo mmuse tingo otulo tujje you have to keep this speech like that toyogera munyo boti tojira boti ne bakufulumiza ka sound nga wallahi wobango you having a long day or katuninga butunizi we bakatotegedde true or false muri wono bubuli bizate buli yote kitote kisoboka kisoboka m mm? ne batuninga no kutuninga sound these are professionals behind this ogendo okula bodu wananga ne sheitwani tekuta sheitwani tekuta ba kufunadda ba kutuninga sound katano wabanga afunye vibe tueta aga pitch eno muwanike mubuoti akemu bwati tasobola butauliza sound yenonga asanyuse what we do 
we react to that boba maze chawe they they lay out something nemukubakerere abana abo mugira we muti yes sound ingasa buse mugande ku music be chaye bachimaze they have tapped into your natural trends chigenda kubera kizibu okulwanyisa search ngato tudde wansi obate tudde wansi as muslims to also use our sound engineers guess what our quran does it all aren't you aware that prophet was like la isa minna man lam yataghanna bil quran omuntu asoma quran ngalinga asome mpa plaza amaulire you're not following the prophet and these are all principles that guide us kubanga bosomo obulunji and you listen to the quran with the whole tajweed involved in it it is a beautiful sound which sound is going to cause tranquility of course if if you've already started that journey you know what i'm talking about and i normally say gwenonya obulunji musomi wa akunyumira get used to that that recitation in the long run will be a therapy for you you're going through a hard time you you're, you're happy about something you it is designed oberengo ofunamu that satisfaction in that alhamdulillah when it comes to okuira that sense of tranquility that calmness you're going to get it from the quran prophet muhammad sallallahu alaihi wasallam ye muntu ya somanga quran na majini ne yekanga suratul jin aw billahi min shaitan rajim qul uhiya ilayya annahu istama'a nafarun min al-jin prophet was like ba tumwe little did you know i've got revelation ndi amajini gampli bizanga soma faqalu inna sami'na hadha al-qur'an sami'na ajaba amajini ne gatuka nokugamati kino chetuli dom sajona soma echigambo chiri ajaba mina tajjub sikwekanga na chaba nyumira it was new tebachi wuliranga ko it had that quality of uniqueness you're not assured of finding it elsewhere so they really enjoyed that ne baddayo ne banyumiza ko nabantu babwe tibantu mwe waliwo musajja ali awo mu makka nga yatandise okuyogera okogera byayogera ebyo tosigala chechi and this is what happens when people are learn, hearing the recitations ne balunga mano okulunga ma tebanyi biyetegeza ne ja sauli de gun nao nao lira idiga mwao ne bimunyumira naga binzirire mwao kumba asembira kulani ne mukoleja ne munyumira ya balozo obuyi ba that's how they term it byo yimba binyumira tamanyi bumanya anti these all principles of tajweed actually tajweed means tahsin kurunjia tetwagala nyo ojewa no tukamente banaye nze nsoma musoma mu just bo bibwe nje kubanga njagala sagala shaytani enkeme enzo kunga ne mpuliranga ali mukwera gakati mba nsoma busomi bwe nje bwe nje that is your battle to things and bizibu byo when you open your mouth and you're going to recite Quran tebitu kwata ko we need a nice recitation from you and that's why when we are choosing the imam prophet was like aqra'ukum one of the meanings out of it is someone who perfects their recitation your recitation will never be perfect goyogera bwogezi never and you will only find that in the holy quran abantu bachimanyi nze nchi gaba izi bange okwekwa sa no to yingiza mu tabu yo ntibana ngenze wembanga nsoma kulani wenti nze mbanya kana nsoma busobiku banga abantu bajja kumpa na wana nyo abantu bajja kunne mesai niye yange tagale train your spiritual side to overtake that chimanye to for not so many ebinyuma tujja kuwana kuboto kole de chintu chetutala banga ko tujja kwagala otudire moto kole chi temuide kulani kabye wana Shea tusome de Qur'an wa nnunji na aje tuna tusome ya Qur'an ya Koletia. Ngatoyagala bamalirize. So tuluwaranga na music eno ate mwabasomo bulunji mukomawo mutuongere. Musome bulunji tubakoye like that. It is the sense of that okuulira that sweetness out of that. Amajini sigwe goka. 
Nena abantu. Abatari basiram used to enjoy prophet's recitation. Nabia ina tendency enti wake uwe azuhu kechiro na soma kulani muluatu. Wali? Ten minutes eh? Kale kale. Kale. Maliriza neka na kade kankute. Nabia ina tendency nga Echira azu kukana asoma Kulane So definitely yali asoma burunji Saba Allah tusika nye kone nabia Tusomere mu Aba, aba kule embeze mu maka Abu Jahal Akhnas Ne Abu Sufyan Three of them Beba tula kwa executive ya batali basiram Neba uliranga chiba suseko What they used to do It is an authentic tradition Sichi pozi Ngabuli omu ata ambuli echirecho. Nibafu nesonda kunyumba ya nabi echiro. Ngabuli omu ata seota manyi. For one reason. Okwe bilira ba ulirize. Kato obunde uwa buna bu, 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 atiro okucha. Uli omu ata niko kutambulu wanga avayo. Ngabasi sinkana muku. Uli omu nga yebu za. How, how come we are here? Nibaka nya ata mazima kulani yeba sise. Abu Jahali fataahadu. Abu Uja hainava ama hagamu wata mazimagari inti. Tuhandi kome zao katika chitimba chitu kute. Na yaba antubana uli na antitubwa gano kuli doa msa jiona. Atefe tuwe bilida. Tebeja tukujira buru unji. Nibwa kanya. Filayla tithania. The second night. Nibwa kumau. Buri umu. Narecho nziga mantubwa. Bebe ya nukwe bilida. Badja leti leti. Buri umu ya lalo uzanta zeyeka. Ilani badamu nipa sinika langabavayo. Nogu uku sadu it's the same way. It's because the, recit the, 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 the recitation was sweet. Luvanyu manyo ni bakanya atu musajyo ya asoma bulunji. Abu Sofiani agenda wa buja haina mugama atu musajyo yu biaso mebio. Bulada mama kuru. Abu Sofiani, Abu Jaha ina gama atu ya ah, sibi laba mwenye makuru. Kavubu kaka tuwe siba kogu ya sibi. Just jange sibi tege ya lwa chiche ya kakandoga. Ewe ulu ya fasi musidamu. Na agende wa akhnasi na mubu zanti. Chichi wito 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 Akhnas was like Udri kulbaad Wala udri kulbaad Ebi mungu jizde na imbi tegeira Ato mungu nesibi kola chi Nesibi tegeira In the long run Akhnas Reverted to Islam But what I wanted is Quran is the source of tranquility And to all reciters here Don't do us injustice Invest in reciting well Okuja wana mguina kusama we Katukuina kubuzi But if you think You're going to recite for someone Please You have to invest In perfecting that because it's a source of tranquility that we get out of that. May Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala grant us that understanding. As I'm winding up the last factor, Quran ene tukuma from Abalabewe Tutamanyi. And this is the divine protection bit. I want to use the narration of Abu Huraira after the revelation of Tabbat Yada Abu Lahabi Watab. This Esure Nuyaka and it was cursing Abu Lahab and the wife, Ummu Jamil. So when the wife knew, understood that Muhammad yoya tani so kunjo gira kone bawa ngeti tulibakoli mide kangendeyo. She marched. Na agenda, Prophet was literally with Abu Bakar around the Kaaba. Ummu Chala najja with three aims. One, Kumuwe muramu. Two, kumusuwaza. Some narrations were like, ya janama inja. Nga wabusungu wabunabu jizeburu unji buhati. Nga mukanyugula kone kumachi. Ne kumayinja. Buatu kawali nabi. Na abu bakari. Na gede wa abu bakari. Na abu zanti muhammad ya aliwa. So, abu bakari tia chite gela. Alina umu sajja gweba nonya. And umu jamili is busy asking ona aliwa. Na silika, na muda muti aliwa. Na silika, nga tachitegeira. Na muga mati yomusajyo yomunonya. Kubanga ampuli la munuwa no mungyo gira ku. Ngabwe nasira anane bawa ngoye tuwa sila ana. Walabi yomuchala hile sposi buka talwa lila bawa embu. Na tambula. Nga talabye nabi. Nadayo. Abu Baka inade wan nabi. And he was like, what just happened here? Omuchalo ya zenga ya gala kutu sako bulabe. You're just literally here with me. Luachita kulabie. Nabina musamira aya. 
اعوذ بالله من الشيطان الرجيم واذا قرات القران if you happen to be amongst the students of the quran no jitegera no jemanyiza you familiar with it ja'alna bainaka wa bain alladhina la yu'minuna bil akhirah what allah is going to do gwe kola gugogwa kubera muntu wa qurani allah is going to definitely put an opaque substance between you and whoever that doesn't believe in the last day of judgment the reason is the difference between a muslim and someone who is who is immoral religiously is you know you're going to be accountable and whoever doesn't believe like you're believing so it is a factor that allah chose but literally buli muntu atakwagaliza nga magic allah chikolako hijab mastura allah protecting her from all that are you really sure everyone wishes you good techukwe unjaka tuli muzikiti wano ngalu wata anjagaliza kati wano ngati ndi wano jaswa kuba allah tali mu tubi kula mitu nenga wallahi tali mu kukola chi nawo utaloza anti ndi bulunji nyo msobolo kuvera wano nga nawo oli awo nenga tumanyi nti sikola chi sikwagaliza the only option we are having is to seek allah's intervention into that jetu tambulira what we do eh emirimo ya fe like whatever people we relate with not everyone like, likes you not everyone wishes you good but when you are a student of the quran the benefit out of it is allah is going to do magic to allah who was here and you're really going to enjoy the protection divinely ole mefuna bukose fo bonna bonna what wona baby so if i align kile ka no singa wona ichiso chatu kwata kwata dawa no buli mtu wona wona kubanda bila dalamu na mena mwine songezi ba kwasi sebiso kati mbuchi je mtamulile tawaye bati ba biso nge dunia ba deje je bali na ichi cha kutasiza wa denga tali mtu wa kulani kisa cha katonda oli kuluwelewele wa nguoti woti Allah alitabuka buta sida gama ati yono chichi kamugeze semu awo bode kukube tisho na abule just mu mwaka gumugo kabwe gote sababu Allah belenga atuwa that protection because we hungrily need it may Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala make us good students of the Quran i believe uh, this was a good introduction if we get to know some of this there are very many maybe as we go on discussing we shall get to know more of them but alhamdulillah i believe if we get to understand these benefits they are going to motivate us to be students of the quran and let's try our level best to 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 involve quran within our lives if you're speaking speak like the quran says if you're relating with others relate as the quran says if you're marrying if you you want to hate someone if like in all aspects of life If you don't know how the Quran guides seek from someone who might know that and then probably it will be good for you may Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala grant us an understanding uh, as good as that Allahumma amin thanks for indulging me wa barakallahu feekum wa assalamu alaykum wa rahmatullahi wa barakatuh